Mamba out. Saucy, yeah, bitch, I do this often My bitch is bad, she always in office So I got a tags, I'm running my body Can't see the pads, I'm living too fast With 20, my dash, I'm hoping I lost him He wanna brag, I did his bag And took what he had, don't care what it cost him Then he broke, he turned to a hoe I seen him before, this shit is exhausting Ran out of hope, I wanna be known I snatched my soul, you're Randy Marshall I'm even broke, I'm And today we are talking about our MVP conversation We've been avoiding this video and this topic because Well, everybody's injured KD's out, Kyrie's out, Harden's out, LeBron's out, AD's out. Um, let's see. Yo, I we don't want to talk about what happened in the last Nugget game at all, as you can see, out of our dismay. Some people could say, you can make an argument for Donovan. Some people somehow have thrown Dame into the conversation. Some people said if Steph's team was actually winning, maybe. Um, the outlandish claims of Luka Doncic were made, um, let's see, lots of lots of different buzz and lots of lots of different ideas were thrown out here. Me and Darius actually had a full length 15 minute argument on who the MVP candidates even were because all of our candidates are injured at the moment. Actually, all of my candidates are injured at the moment, but our decision today probably will confuse and upset some and might even put some dismay in the NBA fans heart. Without further ado, you I got to give them <clears throat> got to hand it off to Darius Adams to give you the news we have on the MVP conversation. Get started, man. Now you know Aiden when back a couple of weeks ago, when we, I think we did an episode about Blake Griffin going to the Nets. I think that happened to be like Blake Griffin's birthday, right? And I told you specifically that Joel Embiid in that episode was, without a doubt, undisputably in the MVP. You look at the stats at the time. The Philadelphia, the Philadelphia 76ers were first place in this conference, right? I think they're on a big time streak. I mean, Joel B was putting up godly numbers, numbers we, we've never seen before by a big man ever since the days of Shaquille O'Neal back, back in his MVP season, I, I believe back in 2000. So those are very, very rare numbers and numbers compared to arguably the greatest center to ever play the game of basketball. Now look at Joel B with him being out for about two weeks, that took him out of the top five in its entirety, and look at guys like James Harden, right? He he's out, right? Kevin Durant, he missed twenty games. He missed a couple games before the All Star break, and he's just now returning. Kyrie Irving, he's been out. He's taken stints out of games due to personal reasons and family matters. So hope he gets well with that. But Aiden, the only constant guys that have really been healthy throughout the course of the season have been Joe have been Nicole Jokic, Damian Lillard, Luka Doncic, and you can even throw Giannis onto the coupon to the conversation as well. And don't forget about Donovan Ooh. Mitchell, even though he's seen best record in the NBA, of course, first seed in the West. I'd like to also add really quickly that if the Celtics weren't a dumpster fire, I'd put my man Jason Tatum in the argument as well. Right, Jason Tatum, of course, he's been balling out, dropped 53 points a couple nights ago, right? So when... We look at who is the real MVP this season. I I think I have to go into Cole Jokic. And you look at the Western Conference as of now. If the playoffs were to start today, the Denver Nuggets would be the fourth seed. At the time we're recording this episode, they're 34-19. Six games below first place, which is the Utah Jazz at the moment. And they are 8-2 in the last 10 games, all right? Nicole Jokic, in every major statistical category imaginable, he leads the Nuggets in every single one of them. I'm talking about points, rebounds, assists, I believe blocks, field goal percentage, I believe three-point percentage as well. All across the board, all across the board, Nicole, Nicole Jokic leads the Denver Nuggets in. Where else can you find that in any other of those 29 teams in the NBA? I don't think you can name not a one. So. I think Nicole Jokic is my MVP this season. 
Now, discussing, now continuing my point about Jokic, all right? He arguably has a case for the best center in the league. But based on this season, based on when healthy, from what I'm seeing by, from both Jokic and Embiid, I will have to give Embiid the edge, but you look at passing, all right? Uh, pat, the passing ability by Jokic is probably one that we've never seen before by any big man in the history of the game of basketball. Jokic is evolutionizing the game every single every single one he plays. And I know you look at some of these other MVP candidates. Look at Dame Lillard. The Pro and Show Boys just have been slacking off a little bit. All right. They're on the verge of probably falling down to seventh, eighth place. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen, but it's definitely a possibility. Look at them in sixth place. Uh, only a couple games uh, above the Mavericks for uh, uh, for sixth, seventh place. So I think that's why I don't give Dame this award this year, the MVP this year. You look at Luka Doncic, I think the only reason why we're not giving him enough praise in the conversation is because of the Mavericks seeding, of course, in the top of the conference being the seventh seed in the March of Conference. We all know right at the start to the season, of course, the Dallas Mavericks were on a, a rough start to the season. You look at how they started the season. They started off the season 9-14, and 14, and they were like 14th in the Western Conference. So I think that's why Luka isn't. Right there in the in the MVP conversation, look at Donovan Mitchell, right? Uh, I think he's very very underrated. All right, and you look at the Utah Jazz; he's gonna have the best record in the league. All right, Donovan Mitchell is clearly the best player on on the team. All right, and to some, the MVP award goes to the best player on the best team. So if we ever have to go that route, it would be Donovan Mitchell. But obviously, skill-wise, performance-wise, leading in team scoring, the most valuable player on a team, valuable, the most valuable asset for a team, the the award clearly this year goes to Nicole Jokic. And some will say um, this MVP may not matter due to all the injuries, to all these top stars. Talking about Embiid, LeBron, Steph, Harden, Jokic, I mean, excuse me, Harden, KD, Kyrie, uh, some of the top premier stars in this league being injured, but clearly, performance-wise, Jokic, due to some of these injuries by star players, he he, he deserves the support. Uh, I have to give the award to Nicole Jokic this year. This could change in the matter of the next couple of weeks, because this is just how close this MVP race is. So, let's say the Blazers possibly find themselves third or fourth place in the Western Conference. I think Dan could move up to number one. Don't forget the second scene in the West, don't forget, I mean, my guy, uh, I believe one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game, Chris Paul, has been in the conversation to some. Even Devin Booker, the three and sons, have been on the road this year. Shout out to Monty Williams, head coach for them. So, got to give credit to them. Of course, they're going to be very, very uh, terrific team in the playoffs, and they're going to be a team in the future, most definitely, right? So, I'm looking at that as well. Seeding may not play as big of a role as individual performance, but seeding definitely puts the cherry on top. So you look at last year, Giannis, his stats, but with the Bucks having like literally the best record in the league, and with them being the number one seed in the East, that just put that little assurance on top of the numbers for Giannis, and that goes for like any MVP in league history. So this year, this year alone, I think I have to give it to Nicole Jokic. Based on the based on individual reports, Nikola Jokic is clearly my MVP this season. Nikola Jokic is my MVP from start to finish. I completely agree with you. I don't have much of a point on that one. Um, I'd also like to add that one of my favorite players in the league, Devin Booker, definitely deserves some a little bit of consideration. Man, I mean that man's been leveling up on and off the court this year, and I am looking forward to seeing his future with the. Phoenix Suns, but the Phoenix Suns, CP3 is not going to play forever. I know he's the point god, but he's not going to play forever. DeAndre Aiden has nowhere near lived up to expectations. Luka Doncic was in that class. Trey Young was in that class. Heck, tech, I, we could count. We could even count Marvin Bagley, Jaron Jackson Jr. My God, man, Memphis. Man. Yeah, can't con- continue making it. And Darius's guy was in there too. We move him for some picks at this point. Should have blown up by now. Need more players around Devin Booker, preferably a stretch forward. All right. 
preferably a stretch forward who can kind of pass, but be a presence in that paint. Devin has shooting covered. You don't need another shooter unless you want insurance. But I prefer a stretch forward for Devin. Okay. Second of all, Joel Embiid was our MVP for a long time. Ben Simmons is our defensive player of the year, without a doubt, without any type of recognition. De- ben Simmons will be our defensive player of the year. Um, our rookie of the year was LaMelo Ball. I think I'm going to, as much as I want to give it to LaMelo, I think Edwards gets it now. Um, our most improved player is, of course, Julius Randle. And we don't have a six-man of the year yet, but we'll be getting back to you on that one. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. We wanted to come out with a short episode on who we thought was in the MVP conversation. We realized we had to make an, made an episode about it, and we didn't have a whole lot to say, but we decided to compress it into this short little video, however long this video ends up being. Without further ado, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for viewing this video today. We appreciate it so much. Help us get to 500 subscribers. You helped us so much along the way, and we would very much so appreciate it if you could help us get to that next goal. Without further ado, this has been Sports Now with Darius and Aiden. That is Darius. I'm Aiden, and we will see you guys in the next episode. Peace, Peace. love, y'all. Peace. See you tomorrow.